this is Evelyn Omale, Lady of the Realm. And I, as the title down below says, hate Taylor and her Swifties. Yes, you. Yes, I dislike Taylor and her Swifties. And there's some reasons. I have some comments and stuff, but I wanted to state my emotions first of how this all <laughs> made me feel. First, you're all pretentious, apparently. You think Taylor Swift is just oh so innocent, and yet, to me, you guys are no better than the believers. Yeah, the followers of Justin Bieber. You will follow this idiot into obscurity. Until she's married to some rich bohunk with no ring on his shoulder, just like is that actually? I would just love that. I would love to see what would happen if Taylor and Justin Bieber married. Not even kidding. I love to see that. I would just sit back and watch the fireworks as you idiots get together and kill and mash and draw. <laughs> Ah, yes, me and maybe atheists would just love that concept. And it's like, yes, the worst of both of our gender, er, er, gender is gone. Thank you. But it won't happen. It just won't. Because, and another reason why I dislike Swifty as well, not just because you're pretentious, is that, in reality, Taylor Swift, to me, doesn't really have to do anything to look pretty. I don't think she's doing anything special. Trust me, if she wanted to do something really special, you know, if she wanted to do the whole feminist punch to the face, and yes, I meant that punch towards you. I know I'm not supposed to be violent, but oh my god, I can't stand it. When I read all these emails off of my new vid my older video about Taylor Swift sucks. The first time, it was a joke. Okay, again. A joke. It was kidding around. Mostly because... Maybe, in my head, I do view Taylor as a bit of a joke. Yeah. I think the whole, you know, America's sweetheart thing is just a bunch of bull. Okay? Doesn't matter who it is. Because guess what? We have Britney Spears. She used to be uh, America's sweetheart before she went psycho. Yeah, there was a time when she was reasonable. And then, worst, <laughs> oh, you, you hate... Justin Bieber out there, those who hate Justin Bieber, and you have all the right to hate him, I hate him too, but I hated boy bands back in the day, mostly because you would get all these, I I'm sorry, when boys are fans of something, yeah, they get a little bit of that fanboy rage, like, alright, yes, I'm going to party all night, yeah, rocket sockets, but it looks like fun. The girls, it's... Oh my god, oh my god, freaking Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift are married or something. Get the rest. Oh my god. You idiots. Go jump off a bridge. No. Okay, I take that back. I don't want to say that. No. I don't want you to jump off a bridge. No, I just want you to stay away from me. I'm not kidding. If I had it my way... I would probably get like a something like a sort of a what is the word restrict restriction order just so I don't have to be around those idiots anymore and I know you all love her because you know she appeared on Ellen DeGeneres and I love Ellen as much as the next person but I don't like her show that much no offense to Ellen again She's an empowering woman in her own right. I like seeing that she's comfortable in her lesbianism and all that stuff. 
I don't think that's quite the word to say, but you get the idea that she's comfortable with her sexuality and she's happy. That's good. But, uh, she's a freaking Swift. Let's just put it this way. I like the Rosie O'Donnell. A lot of people don't like her. Yeah, maybe to me, for some reason, I used to compare her to Roseanne Barr. See? And last time I checked, Roseanne Barr? I think she's straight. But I wouldn't have cared if she was or wasn't. Because, to me, you just had to have the harsh female stereotype. That's just how it was. She was doing the, I'm a proud redneck woman, and I ain't and gonna lie about it. And I think that's a good attitude. Because, even though I'm not really a redneck woman, I do have education. Basically, that's what redneck means. No education at all. It's that whole, you know, you got blue collar, white collar, which I think white collar is like top of the tops. Blue collar is like, eh. You know, it's, I think it has something to do with the degrees of some of sweats or something like a white collar job well you didn't work out on the field you didn't get dirty because yeah no man we're gonna get that outfit dirty um considering what the wife would have said and then blue collar well you could be a construction worker or a foreman or you know, you work in the lower level jobs, you're middle class. And then you got redneck. Bottom. Nope. You know, you're wearing what I'm wearing. White beater kind of outfit. So it's, mine isn't white. And I don't have a little mullet or anything. Or at least I shouldn't be having one. You know, I love to see a woman with a mullet. It's kind of weird. Why would a woman have, how could a woman really have a mullet? Hm, yeah, but who cares? You know, the, the thing is, girls who love Taylor Swift, I admire that you have a strong female role model, but you know, there are other people besides Taylor Swift to look up to. And heck, those who question my female role models, because I judge Taylor Swift, Here's a list of female role models I actually do have and do look up to. Let's see. There's Sky Sweetenham, Ava Levine. Hey, she got some nice, both got some nice pipes. Nice. Now, if you wanted to go into cartoons, I really actually quite prefer the non Disney princess types already because I do not see myself as a princess. Not because I don't see myself as special or endearing or interesting. It's just not something that I think girls were ever meant to do. That was just, you know, basically here's how a princess works. She just sits up there and does nothing. She's kind of a... She's just kind of a pass-along piece, you know. It doesn't matter much. No offense. It's not saying we shouldn't treat a girl like that. Because there have been other female characters that have challenged that stereotype. Like, I love Jasmine from Disney. Hey, Disney's Aladdin. Yeah, I'm aware of all the little things going on in that film, but I love it. And even more so now. But. I mostly enjoy more tomboy characters. So, yeah, I like Merida from Brave. Even though... I don't know why so many people dislike tomboys now. What did we do to you? I mean, okay, maybe we're not the symbol of femininity, but... I think we're less offensive than most girls are. But, you know, we're tired of seeing the Taylor Swift, Britney Spear concept. We don't care that you fat women or fat girls like her or not. And no, it's not because I'm... Look... Look at me. I am not. Okay, well, you don't see much of me. This position, let's just put it this way. I have no place to really talk about being fat, okay? We're just saying, how about this? Maybe this would empower girls a little bit more. Stop putting the pretty girls up there, especially Taylor Swift, okay? 
she's like the worst role model, in my opinion, second to Britney Spears. Okay. Not because of what she did. Well, I'm sorry, Sassy, but I have other things to entail. Yes, I have a cat, and yes, you just heard him yet. <sighs> Only a pet is not fun. But also, dealing with Taylor Swift and her dumb fans are not any more fun. Now, I've only had one encounter, but I know this will spawn multitudes of other encounters. Because I'm sure my viewing chip of that video is going to grow and grow and grow and grow. Huh. Huh. But that's what I'm saying. I'm ready to take you guys, you guys on. I don't care. I really don't care. Yeah, what you have to say about her, really, I don't. There's nothing, nothing at all, zilch, zero, that you could say to me about, oh, but she's so pretty and she's so empowering. To you, okay? To me, I like Sinead O'Connor. Yeah, she shaved her head and went a little nuts, but I like that. I sort of like that. Oh, Luna Lovegood is another female role model. Who's not super girly, or at least if there she is girly, it makes her seem less obnoxious. But yes, Luna Lovegood goes up there too. She do I see her as a super strong one? No, I just see her as a eh, you know, everything's good, everything you know, I'm just a very sensitive person, but I don't let everything get to me. I just want everyone to leave me be. Um I know a lot of people don't see her this way, but I have found a new way to look at my little, you know, Disney princess, Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Yeah, I like her. What of it? Yes, I'm aware of the stereotypes on the LGBT counter there, but I think she's, you know, I think if you actually look at her character, she's an interesting person. She's daring. She actually wants to go out and find things. Yes, she betrayed her father, and yes, I guess it's, you know, we don't want, as women, we don't want to be seen as childish. Even though, I hate to break it to you folks, we are childish. I mean, hell. If our nails aren't perfect, we're like, oh my god, oh my god. Give it a rest. If our breasts aren't big enough, oh my god. We make a big deal out of it. And yes, I understand why, because I guess they're seen as empowering. And I know I should be, you know, gripping my chest like this, but what are you going to do about it? <laughs> At the same time, I just want this kept in everyone's heads. There's nothing wrong, personally, with Taylor Swift and stupidity recent or past you know she did break up a wedding which was not a very nice thing to do Taylor since you're all about love oh yeah that's another thing I hate about her too this why can't you people just do this this means love too now it could also mean death but this also means love but this means love in sign language I know how to do it you learn how to do it this, this just looks like, oh, well, since the hippies had this, we had this, this we must have this. God, I hate, I hate, I hate this generation. And, you know, sad part is, I'm slightly part of it, because Generation Y, even though it's a cutoff from, well, no, we're not a cutoff, you guys are the cutoffs. If you're born after 1996, you are cut off, okay? You are the cut off of that. You are Generation Z and we... Okay, this is why Generation Y and Generation Z will never get along. Mostly because you run away the holy heck out of us. It's always the... Like I said, you're no better than the last generation that we had to deal with. Which, you know, those were our brothers and sisters and we were just like... Just kill the Backstreet Boys. I'll do anything. I mean, I listen to them out of the whole Shrun toy thing. You know, just remember good times. Do I look up to them? No. They were just fun. And that was back when music videos were actually kind of cool. Nowadays, they suck. 
Okay? Even with Taylor Swift. Even with Katy Perry and her big breast. Oh my god. But I'm glad that some people will like her. It's just, I don't get it. I don't get why anyone likes her. Because if they knew all the other stuff that she's been doing, hmm, I don't think we'd say anything, would we? We wouldn't be all that happy about it now, would we? Hmm. Anyways. That's just my personal opinion. It's just, guys, come on. Can we all just get along when it comes to music? No, apparently. Never will, probably. It's almost like there will never really be world peace. Maybe, maybe agreement. Maybe world agreement where we just leave each other the F alone. Huh? And just go far, far away from each other, at least by certain corners, you know. This is your area, and this is my area. Why can't we do that with music? And why is it we have like these immature teenage girls who we cater to in this media? I mean, I do agree. It might be a scale up from 20 years ago when we had the grunge movement, which I still think was pretty damn cool. Because you just had these disdain people, and it made being a teenager actually look cool for once. Too Swift and a lot of this new music out there, I think it's just, oh, look how pretty, and yeah, that's nice. Thank you for that word of, word of nonsense, Taylor. Okay. But that's all I really should be saying. Anyway, that's 17. I guess if I wanted to have another Taylor Swift rant, I'll make another video. But anyways, see ya.